Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Welcome to uh, Trading View YouTube and Twitter and to my subs, of course. How you guys doing? It's been a while since I made a video, and the reason for that is because nothing has changed. Okay, I'm not going to come out and try to entertain you and ooh, don't forget me, come and like and subscribe or whatever. You know, that's not what I do. I'll leave that to the experts. For me, if there's something to say, I'll say it. And, you know, I, I've been on Twitter and I'm sitting there watching every Bitcoiner pumper with their Lambos uh, who never saw the top, but are real... Uh, good experts are telling you where the bottom is. And they've been telling you the bottom since it was 65,000, uh, 65, right? Every little uh, wiggle in the market, oh, I know where the bottom is. Yeah, you want to buy, 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 buy. And guess what? It's all the way down to 20,000. And they're doing the same thing, and they're so excited. Why? What are they excited about? I'll show you what they're excited about. They're excited about this. I don't know if you can see it. It's very small, <laughs> but for whatever reason, I don't know why they're extremely excited about it. <laughs> and it, it. I'm always sitting there going like, huh, <laughs> why? And, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, you you got to be careful. You can't listen to these clowns, all right, on Twitter. These these are bots, okay? Uh, so <laughs> stay away from them. Stay away from them. All right. So what's going on with the overall market? Nothing. That's what's going on. Um, look at it. A bunch of lower highs, lower lows. Period. End of story. There's nothing magical about it, right? It's very simple. Now, if you guys remember, I said, oh, it's, it's about to puke it up. And that's when I was saying that back here. Somewhere in here, I said, well, be careful because this can go like that which is called incredibly bullish, uh, bearish is how I say it. It had the, it had all the makings of puking it up. The, the, the debate was not whether it was going to go lower. That wasn't the debate. Because normally the way it works on these kind of structures, when it comes down, right, and it, fall, it, um, it creates a falling wedge, the next move should be to the upside in a corrective move. That's normally the way it, it works. And I even said that on my puke video, the first one. But it had some feel that it could do this. And I, I said, all right, well, let me warn people. And I came out and I made that video. Now, subsequently, okay, we got the breakout. We got the correction, went up, and then started to fall apart. And it did puke it up, just like I said it would. It just had to do one more up before it puked it up, all right? Cool. So uh, what happened here? Well, <laughs> again, it's very easy to see. Okay. Puked it up. Started doing some kind of funky kind of a correction. Right into resistance. Created this structure. And what happens when the structure points one way? Yes. <laughs> the next move is to the downside. Okay. So we did get the correction. This now has corrected. We'll see how, how this works out, all right, over the course of time. Can this break out, you know, and, and do a, a bigger corrective move and then start to fall back down? Sure, of course. There's not, I mean, if I, if I had a penny every time that it went up and I'm like, no, I'm not convinced, uh, I would be Buffett, Right, all here. Oh, Nick, you're all wrong. Nick, you're wrong. Nick, you're wrong. Wrong, wrong. Every time they, oh, you're wrong. Yeah, but at the end of the day, all you keep doing is going lower, 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 and lower. So <laughs> they don't come back and say you were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. Uh, I like those people. They're nice. Anyway, Nasdaq has fallen now about uh, 37 percent, 38 percent. Nothing has changed. I'm sorry. And if you guys remember, I said, hey, don't pick bottoms. And I have a whole video on it. And this video was not published, uh, you know, after the fact. This was back when uh, NASDAQ was uh, at 14,400, whatever it was, back on January 21st of this year. All right. So. Don't uh, don't say, oh, you know, Nick started saying this after the fact. No, I told you in the beginning, stop picking bottoms because this is going to be ugly. 
subsequently, we had a, a, a move up from there, and I said, don't pick bottoms. And they're like, look, you're wrong. La, 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 I bought the bottom, <laughs> right? <laughs> and since then, you know, we came all the way down here. Well, we came down like this, but no, okay? So imagine if you would have listened to me and just didn't try to pick bottoms, you got out of the market. Like I say in the in the comments, you know, it's better being out of the market wishing you were in than in the market wishing you were out, right? That's a that's a great saying, uh, and that's true. Uh, for the Bitcoiners and crypto experts, let me remind you that I took my profits back on November 30th, 2021. And these are the same people that are telling you to pick the bottom. They didn't tell you when to get out, right? Uh, and they have like you know, half a million people like subscribing and they keep pumping them and they keep going out and buying and it just keeps going lower. And then they're like, see, see, I promise you I was right. Every single tick that goes up, they're like, yeah, see how smart I am. I, I don't know how these people get away with it, but it's, it's just amazing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I took my profits back on November 30th, 2021. I'm not back in, and, and there's a good reason for it. Uh, Bitcoin, same thing. I, I got out in, I think, 60s somewhere. But then again, I posted on TradingView, December 4th, 2021, that, hey, look, it's breaking a key area. Look where we are today. All right? So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what more I can do to try to help people uh, not 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 to just fall for these traps. Go for the big waves. Learn how to understand macroeconomics. Learn how the charts work properly, and and try to be more of an investor rather than a trader. Because you can trade a thousand times since I told you don't try to pick bottoms. And who do you think is going to be better off? The guy that's not in the market. Or the guy trying to pick bottoms every time. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. By the way, do you know why the buy the dip doesn't work? Anybody? I'll tell you why. Because the shorts have been murdered. Murdered years ago. They just destroyed the shorts. There's none left. So you're thinking, well, that's a good thing. Nope. <laughs> that's a bad thing. Because shorts are automatic buyers. Automatic. <laughs> I mean... If you don't have shorts, how are you going to pump the market up? How are you going to do it? They're natural buyers. They got to get out at some point. They got to buy if they short. So what you're witnessing is just this fade away, drawn out, you know, full of hopium. Buy the dippers coming in, trying to you know push it up, just getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and until one. One point, they're going to all puke it up. There's not going to be any shorts. And then when the shorts do come in, because they'll think, oh, now I got it. I understand it. At the end, of course, uh, it gets bad enough. And people are going to try to make up for it by shorting. Then they're going to get ripped apart there because they shorted in the hole too late after the fact. And then we'll have a bottom. But we're not there yet. All right. Uh, somebody asked me to look over at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, I'll do it for him. You know, it's the same thing. It's a rounding top, lower highs, lower lows. You know, there's just there's nothing there to talk about. Uh, what I do want to talk about, and we're gonna we're gonna do this. I think it's the first time I'm doing this, but I'll do it. Uh, we're gonna look at the big caps. Okay. So let's start with Apple, and let's go out. Let's go to weekly. All right, here's Apple. Now you're looking at this, and you're like, "Oh my God, it's so cute! Look how little it is." <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, it's not really that little. And I urge everybody to please use this this tool, which is wonderful. TradingView provides, and it's down 30% from top to bottom. Right now, I think it's down like 20, whatever. Okay, fair enough. All right. So make sure you use that, you, that, that tool because just looking at a chart like this is very misleading to the eye. Alternatively, what you want to do is just kind of turn this from log to uh, non-log, okay? And then you can see it a little bit better. But um, 
that's a big move for Apple. All right. Now we'll come back to this here in a minute. Now let's take a look at Google. Now I <laughs> I literally shorted this on on a spike. I was telling this one guy who kept telling me, he's like, oh no no uh, splits make the the stock more valuable. And I'm like, what? I'm like, no, he does. The market cap's the same. Oh no no no, it's it's cheaper now. I can buy it cheaper. I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not the way it works. And we argued for like I don't know how long. And I'm like, man, <laughs> listen to me. I'm telling you, it's not. And I'm like, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll short it. And I did. I did a point, you know, in front of him. I shorted it. I'm up 38% on it. <laughs> uh, and um, and look what's happened since. All right. It's down. Now, this is Google we're talking about. It's not some, uh, you know, Yahoo company. Right? It's down 40%. Think about that. And, of course, uh, you know, it's so, it's so easy once you understand bare knuckle charting that uh, it was going to go lower. That's that's not that's not difficult to understand, and again, all the patterns are the same. I'm not I'm not showing you something that you haven't seen before here. So you have the first kind of trend move. That's one. That's two. That's three. Okay, what's the structure? Pointing upwards. What's the next move? Down. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. Magic. <laughs> all right. So again, it, I should put the arrow here now. <laughs> Because it went down a lot. Good. All right. Uh, what else? Amazon. Let's take a look at Amazon. What has Amazon done since since COVID? It's done nothing. Okay. It's done nothing. And here's a weekly chart. Sorry, I'm in a hotel. I don't even know if this video is going to upload. But <clears throat> more or less since, uh, you know, July, it's done nothing. It's just kind of sideways. And now it's starting to fade, fade away. And it got... Lower highs and a, a couple lower lows. All right, so that that's not looking good. Uh, let's take a look at Nvidia. All right, so Nvidia had a nice little move to the upside. It was great. In fact, uh, I, I loved N Nvidia to a point. Took profits, and we see what it's done since. And again, use their magic little tool they have there. Down 69%. Or you can turn off the log. That's disastrous, right? There's more. Meta. <laughs> <coughs> Absolute disaster area. Right? And again, this was not unknown. At least not to me. And you can see it. Right? One, two, three. Boom. Yes, that's the way markets move. Um, so it's down 75, I think. Let's check it. Yep, 75 percent. Take it out of log. Look at that. All right? Wow. Wow. All right, Tesla, the disaster area. This is the next day of well. <laughs> what? What a disaster. So again, make sure you take your handy little thing. All right? And that's down uh, 52 percent. <laughs> nice little head and shoulders right at the top. Oh, oh, oh. So remember that I did say short this back a oh, year and a half ago, something like that. Unfortunately, the chart that I did post, uh, it doesn't adjust for splits. So it kind of looks really, you know, funky. But um, I, did, I did say uh, short it right up here. Okay, right right at the top. So magic on that too. Um, <clears throat> what else? All right, here I want to talk about, I want to kind of really look at this chart here. Here's my Microsoft. And Microsoft back in 2000, this is what it looked like. All right. That's what it looked like. Everybody was so bullish on Microsoft. Oh, you don't understand. Internet is the future. Microsoft has market share. Computers of the future. Okay, fair enough. Do you know how long it took for Microsoft to recover from that? Anybody? Want to take a guess? All right. It took about 16 years after dropping 67% or more and lingered about, I don't know, down 50% from those highs for 16 years. All right, 16. 
one six. Look at that. From top to bottom, it dropped sixty six percent, and then the vast majority of the time, it, it was about fifty six percent down. Are you prepared to buy the dip and hold for sixteen years? If you're not, don't buy the dip. Okay, don't buy the dip, and then finally, after sixteen years, it started to go up. So now what? Well, it's back in correction, right? You get the erection, you get the correction. Uh, so there's nothing here that is signaling to me that um, we are at the bottom. It's not. It's not rocket science. It's it's a lot easier than you think. But uh, you got to have discipline. You got to have the right temperament. You have to have the right understanding of how charts works, how macroeconomics works, and then you want to apply that correctly. Um, and then just let the markets, let the charts tell you what's going on. Don't tell the charts what's going on. Don't tell the economy what's going on. Because I remember I kept saying, you know, when the market was going up, I'm like, yeah, this is crap. They're like, well, you don't understand, Nick. The markets don't care about the economy. I'm like, yeah, okay, good luck with that. Nope, it's going up every day. You're wrong. <laughs> right? So now everybody's like, oh, recession is coming. Oh, the Fed pivot. Okay, and guess what? The market is going down, but the economy is not. Okay, and so they're wrong again, just like they were wrong with, oh, inflation, don't worry about it. My friend, it's nothing. It's uh, just transitory. Yes, yes, supply chains, it's no problem. <laughs> okay, wrong in that too. <laughs> okay, so uh, they're always wrong. You know, whenever you see some big headline, rarely are they going to be right. So don't fall for that stuff. Okay, there's there's a lot more to it. So, uh, again, if I'm not making videos, it's because I'm not trying to entertain you. I'm trying to give you the best possible analysis and sometimes not to say anything. Just keep your mouth buttoned up and shut up and don't say too much is the best way because I'll give you good analysis um, and, and accurate, as accurate as I can possibly make it. So that's about it. There's nothing here that's signaling it's a bottom. Doesn't mean it can't be. Anything can happen. Uh, but to me, I don't see anything of value. And uh, again, I'll leave it with this. You know, if somebody's getting excited about <laughs> it's just funny to me. It's getting you all excited because of that little the little little thing right there. <laughs> I don't know if I covered if somebody's trying to get you all excited about that. Uh, you're in trouble. You are in big trouble. Even if they're right, you're in trouble. All right? So be really careful, please. Please, please, please be careful. All right? That's it. Take good care. Uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, soon, I guess. And uh, thank you for support. Thank you to TradingView. Thank you to you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.